we are back again, exactly where we left off. Gotta try very hard not to look at things. I would kill for a pumpkin right now. But, uh, what we have with us is things that we brought, which isn't a whole lot. Now, I could die, go back, get stuff. I wasn't quite sure if that was a hole of death, what was gonna happen there. But, I... Oh. Oh, God. We're gonna pretend you don't exist, okay? You can't see me, I'm the other side of this fence. But, uh... That's interesting. This is a very weird realm. I realize this is not technically supposed to be the end realm anymore. I'm, I'm guessing this is probably some kind of dream realm, or even maybe a nightmare realm in the, uh, the book. But, as it currently stands, I'm at a complete lack of stuff cat picture because I didn't want to bring anything through because I wasn't sure what was going on but if I die I'll, I die and I'll go get stuff and I'll bring it back with me but uh, oh. until then we're gonna keep a lookout and see if we can't find something cool some stuff because I could use some stuff well there's a place spawner up there we'll just close this door now yeah. Oh, there's another one up there. There's chests. I didn't bring any torches, arrows, armor, leather, wood, sandstone. All I brought with me was the stone sword, so I'm even going to take that golden one. I don't even care. Uh, glitchy double doors. Is front over there? No, doesn't look like it. I'll have a look-see through the glass on the way over. I didn't even bring a pick, so I can't even chop through any of these walls. I didn't bring hey, a stick. Why am I taking books and flour? I don't know. Because they're there, and I feel like it. I have nothing in my inventory, and unless I can find the exit of the end, I'm not getting out of here, short of dying. So, this is going to be interesting. I'm trying my best not to spawn that many blazes where I've explored the whole place. Ooh, chest. Ender pearl, wooden sword, gold sword, and wooden sword are about equal to each other on fail level. That's right, fail level. Mmm. Okay. Ooh. Surprised he didn't register that. I was kind of looking at his feet. Now... I don't know where I was going with that. I just said now, and that was about it. Run through here. Run through here. Sprint, because I didn't bring any food with me. Oh, I'm still wearing, still wearing armor. Left my set a whole set. I remember leaving myself a whole set of iron armor. Uh, for those that are wondering, this is actually uh, about four to five days since the last time I recorded. Um, it's going to be another one of those recording sessions where I forget to look and see when I started, so... I'm actually probably going to have more than three episodes of footage this time around. Who knows, maybe I'll just cut it into three episodes regardless of how long. Uh, it really depends. That is a lot of coal. I feel like that's supposed to symbolize something other than being a lot of coal. But not... Oh, okay, this is the exit portal. Well, now I know where the entrance portal is, and I know where the exit portal is. I also hear TNT. I hear TNT! I heard the sound of pressure plates, although I don't remember seeing them, but I wasn't looking too hard. And, yeah, sound of TNT. Now, avoiding this giant hole in the ground is going to be slightly more difficult than originally intended, but this I didn't originally intend there to be a giant hole in the ground. I also don't know how much he has in this realm. Your poor map. You blew it up. That's a creeper. No, no, I blew it up. Hmm. Oh, oh, shit. I don't feel like dying just yet. Ow. Shit. Oh, oh, I'm dead anyhow. But I didn't take anything worthwhile with me. 
And I knew I was going to end up respawning back here, so that's okay. Apparently left myself an iron pick here. Nah. Now I remember why I left these things, so I'm just going to put them back in. Uh, as much as I don't want to do this, because it seems like a really bad idea. I searched over here and I didn't really see anything. That end realm's about all that's left, and now that I've found the exit, I might just explore down in there. I'm obviously going to have to explore the map a lot more and keep an eye out for things. I'm kind of disturbed that there hasn't really been a whole lot of basements in any of these places, but whatever. I'll just assume they're all modular houses. Yep. I think I went that way and it said road under construction. But anyhow, I'm waiting for the giant hole in the ground to appear. What is with the the fireball things? Those are blaze fireballs. So they're just kind of floating there. And yes, I'm aware I should be paying more attention to where I'm going than my surroundings when riding on a broken minecart track. I've been on this thing long enough that it was actually worth taking the ride. And... Oh. Oh. Okay. That doesn't leave me an easy way down. Hmm. I didn't want to jump, but here I go. Now, as much as it seems like it could be a very, very bad idea, I'm going to one sprint back, but that's not what I was talking about. I'm going to go to the end realm with all of my stuff, because I found the exit portal, and that is the important thing. Just like I said before, I wasn't sure what was going to happen when I went down into that little hole, which is why I left all that stuff to begin with. I'm going to take you. I want to go respawn back at the beginning. I'm aware I could have just broken the other bed, but I didn't think about that until just now. So, I'm going to take this bed, I'm going to go back to spawn, and I'm going to sleep in it. Set my spawn there via that. Why? Because... Does it matter? No, I'm pretty sure the end portal spits me out where I... Oh. Oh, bye-bye. I'm pretty sure the end portal spits me out at map spawn as opposed to my spawn location, or like where my bed is. But it's actually been a while since I've been to the end. Oh. Oh, you fucking Enderman. God damn it, now I'm all the way back here. <laughs> of course, though, if I wasn't recording these journeys, you never would have seen such interesting things, such as evil, evil Enderman. This episode's going to consist of a lot more traveling than I originally intended, but hopefully it doesn't take me 20 minutes to get back to spawn, or probably closer to 10 now. But, I don't know, we'll see what happens. Mmm... I might? No. No, if you've watched my other videos, you know I'm not a big fan of editing. So, I'm just going to leave this alone. This footage is going to stay here. I'm going to keep talking over it. You're going to hear me talk about keeping the footage in instead of removing it. Yeah. I'm going to shut up about that now and try and come up with something more interesting. Um, One of the big reasons why I'm probably going to actually do maybe four episodes worth or so of recording today. Uh, today is Tuesday the 17th, and tomorrow, Wednesday the 18th, uh, the game I'm playing, All Points Bulletin, is going to be having pretty much its first major update since December. Yeah, long time. And so I plan to play, play it as uninterrupted, uninterrupted as possible. So, my entire goal for tonight is I'm going to get all the footage I can pre-recorded, pre-uploaded. I'm going to set things probably on a schedule so I don't have to worry about them. Or maybe I'll just leave them there and, you know, adjust them when the time comes around because it won't take long. 
So a lot of these things, it's going to be pre-recorded, pre-uploaded, but that's because I don't want to just leave you guys without anything to watch. I'm not just going to, you know, take a hiatus like the last time, just disappear at random and all of a sudden come back. I'm going to try and leave you some footage while I'm doing it. Uh, I do still have, uh, I need to, well, when you see this, it'll probably actually be up, well, yeah, it should come up before Lethemir. I recorded Lethemir episode 3 yesterday, but I couldn't upload it because my internet was being really weird. Like, it, I couldn't even get GIFT uploaded at a reasonable time. It wasn't until, like, 4 in the morning that my internet started working properly and I was able to upload it. So, yeah, if episodes are ever late and, you know, like, there's no just sudden disappearance, hopefully from now on, my goal is going to try to avoid that. Uh, speaking of which, if there's any Minecraft adventure maps or even other Vex maps or whatever that you'd really like to see me play... Give me a name, shoot me a link, whatever. I If you just give me a name, I'll look it up myself. I don't mind. If you give me a link, that'd be cool, whatever. And uh, whenever I run on a, you know, if I finish this map and I finish Lethemir, I'll, uh, I just want to have other things I can do and things that you guys would like to see. So if you would like to, if you'd like me to play anything after I'm done with these, depending on whether or not Vex has his new map out that he's been working on, whatever it's called. Yep, his map is now called whatever it's called. And I'm aware that I didn't bring a bed. I'm aware that I don't have any wool. Actually, actually, I think I might have the wool, but I... You know, what am I talking about? This is the beginning area. There is a fleecy box somewhere in this area. Oh, that guy's a poison spider. Poison spider. Ow. Fuck. Oh, this is not good. Go this way. Hey, chicken. Oh. Oh. Okay. Plan B. You know what, guys? I know I said about disapproving of doing this before. But I I'm just going to do this to save you guys time, because we've already done the run thingy twice. Broke the bed, which will cause me to spawn back at map spawn. It's cheating, essentially. Right, my wolves that I left here. They're actually going to stay here. Is that Enderman? You bastard. Even after I died before, he's still tracking me. Speaking of Endermen, there's quite a few of them over there towards the spawn. Don't look at them, don't look at them. I already have enough trouble with just this one. Oh. Keep him between me and the skeletons, and maybe I'll get lucky and they'll shoot him. Oh. Oh, I'll do that. Please don't do that. Ow. Okay, this is being a little bit more difficult than I originally intended, and it's the fault of the Enderman. Stop following me. I need to get out. Could you leave me alone long enough to get the death stick out, please? Death stick. Okay. Come at me. Oh, of course, now the sun's coming up. Armor. Food. Bow. Arrows. Regeneration potion, because it seems like a good idea. Uh, fire resistance. Torches. Sticks, might as well bring the wood. Um, shovel too, just in case. I'm going to put the death stick where a sword would normally be. So that way I can use it like one. Why? Why piece of fence? Yep. Straight up. Why piece of fence? As you can tell, oh, I'm trying to place my chest on my legs. 
Hey. Oh. Soul sand. <laughs> but uh, I still haven't really done anything with the texture pack. I haven't quite decided I want to do with the legs yet. And I've actually considered changing the uh, the way I have the chest done with the little lines down the sides. It didn't turn out quite the way I was hoping, and I thought about just trying to make a bulletproof vest, essentially, instead. This is the clearest my inventory has been in a very long time. Ladders. Torches go there. Don't need the gunpowder. That's, that's collected enough. I could cut down these trees and stuff and get a lot of charcoal going so I have torches, but... Psh, who needs torches? I've got the death stick. Nothing can oppose me. Now, I'm pretty sure the wolves won't come with me into the end, so I'm just going to leave them sitting there. I'm hoping the end contains a lot more cool thingies. And it's like the entire world again. Whee! Ow! I usually took full damage from jumping in here. That's kind of annoying. Now, I think I've already been the whole way through that house. So, we're actually going to avoid that house. Even though I greatly think I should look at it. Speaking of torches, I completely forgot about the coal that's here in the nether. Nether? This is now the nether. Also, I don't know what is with doors resetting when breaking blocks near them. I also don't know what's up with the uh, coal lights we got going on here. And I should probably try to collect the cobblestone because I didn't bring any with me. Oh! Oh, oh god. Oh god. Free experience. Considering I have to worry about losing durability. I don't think that quite worked the way that he had originally expected. Here's the entire thing is made of silverfish, though. Okay. Well, we're going to continue past. Blaze spawner. Ooh. Ooh. Did you see what I saw? Because I saw it. Coal? I wonder. Also, silverfish. Not a silverfish. Oh. Right. Wait, that wasn't sand, that was sandstone. Wow. That's quite the wooden pick. Too bad about all it's good for is, uh... Trying to spawn silverfish. from? That's the great question. Remember what I said about it spawning silverfish? Torches! A lot of them. Okay. I think that's all we need for torches for probably a good while. So we're going to continue on over to here. See what's in this very wrecked house where the creepers assaulted me. I know the creeper spawner's down off the side. I want to see what happens if I use an efficiency 10 pick. Oh, that's sexy. Oh, that's sexy. Not why Vex gave it to me. But I'm definitely going to use it for that purpose. Oh. Okay, we got light gray wool. Oh. Oh. All right. Hey, hey. Hmm. Oh. 
Oh, that is a lot. That is a lot of dudes. That is a lot of dudes. Oh, almost walked off the edge of the map. Yeah, that didn't do anywhere near as much as one might hope that it would. But it did about as much as I had expected. Oh. 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 Dodge out of the way. Doing little head animations while I'm doing it too.